What up, gamers? I'm hip. Can't you tell I'm loading an old ass version of Minecraft 1.3.1? Despite that saying 1.5, ignore that. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing is making a Ender Dragon spawn egg. Yeah, an Ender Dragon spawn egg, which is an actual thing you can do in vanilla Minecraft. So I'm loading up 1.3.1, the notorious version of Minecraft that doesn't fucking work. I'm going to be using the give command, because this is like the only version, this is like the first version it was actually added. So why not? So holy shit, I've actually not seen this in a long time. So first, I'm going to start single player word, world. Uh, I'm going to do a flatland world, as you see. Um, creative, super flat, you know, done. I'm just gonna name it, and yeah. Okay, so now I actually have the code written down on my computer. Now, since this is a really old version of Minecraft, um, yeah, yeah, that's my excuse. I also remember a really old glitch with this version of Minecraft. I think I would probably replicated. I just have to mash the shit out of the F11 to button. I actually haven't seen 1.3.1 in a very long time because it doesn't work if you have a newer version of Minecraft, like 1.12. So, oh my god. Wow. Ew. Really? It was added in this update? Jesus, I'm old. Wow. Oh, remember this shit? I'm so <laughs> They're fucking unorganized. What the fuck? Really? They were like this? Oh yeah, this is before you can shift click shit. Wow. I actually did not know this version of Minecraft even still had this shit. Jesus. Do they have anything noteworthy? No. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna type slash give and then your name and then boom baby this is the code for an ender dragon spawn egg as you see right here when you hold it it says spawn ender dragon thing is it doesn't work right first of all I'm gonna give me a fuck ton of these um that one is actually quantity so I'm on 64 Oh, oh! I remember that glitch. So if you, so if a bunch of them were in the same pile, whenever they separate, so you know that there's more. Um, it broke the textures. It was the craziest shit. Okay, give me these. So now, get the fuck out of there. Oh, remember this? Oh, I need to stop reminiscing of the old Minecraft. Okay. So now you want to leave the game. What? What? I could have done that? God damn it. Okay. Now. Hoping that Minecraft reloads. <gasps> it's not. I successfully killed it. Okay. Now. Um. After. You have. Um. Given yourself the Ender Dragon, the Ender Dragon eggs. Um, I don't know if I should have the code in the description. I mean, it's just numbers. It shouldn't be that difficult. Remember, this only works in Java Edition because that's the only one you can go back. Uh, code codes right here. I might, I might put this in the description. I don't know. You can't use that stupid fucking at E or at S. This was back then when it was fucking game mode 1 and 0. Like how it should have... God, I fucking hate new Minecraft. 
Hi, we're the new Minecraft. We're gonna make you type out survival. And creative. Instead of just pressing fucking game mode 1 and 0. Like, should be. God, I hate Minecraft. This is why I refuse to play anything past fucking 1.12. Um, now you want to go to 1.1, which is the first update that, uh, that, uh, dr dra that, uh, not dragon eggs, but, uh, spawn eggs were added. 1.1 is when spawn eggs were added to Minecraft. Fun fact, as you can see here, they were, in fact, added to Minecraft. I am really happy I'm recreating this glitch, and I might actually recreate a second glitch, where if you mash the, mash the shit out of the F11 button, which is the full screen, and, you know, get out of full screen, um, it could royally fuck up the graphics of the game. I don't know why that was even a glitch in the first place. I don't know what happened, but I want to redo it. But yeah, it also shows here that uh, this glitch only works in 1.1. And this, because I left a comment on a video about, like, block, like, 63 or some shit, I don't know. Okay, now that we're in an even older version of Minecraft, I'm gonna go to straight to that fucking spawn menu and see that beautiful glory that is the old spawn menu. I fucking love that old spawn menu so goddamn much. I'm just gonna hope to god this version works and I don't have to do any more goddamn file shit. But... Have I met the, uh, cuss quota? Alright. Welcome to Minecraft 1.1. It looks the exact same. So now, you wanna go to... This is my beta world. So, we're gonna go to end yeah, which is what I call the world. End ya. Yeah. So now what's doing is converting the new Minecraft world into the old one. Usually it's supposed to make it in the first version, but has No. I don't know which version of 1.1 this is. So, now, what we have in our inventory. Oh, yeah, I remember this shit. Really, for the Minecraft to load. Some. Where the fuck am I? What? Am I in terrain? This is why you make the world in the first version first. How the fuck did I get here? Okay. What do we have here in our inventory? Oh, I missed this. A spawn ender dragon. You guys fucking ready? Yee haw, boys. Yes, this is real. Actual vanilla Minecraft. You could have done this. He is very fucking hostile. I do not feel like killing him right now, so I'm just gonna go on top of here. Please stop following me. Yes! So, if you give yourself the Ender Dragon spawn egg, or any other spawn egg, that, you know, actually has an entity tied to it, he's gonna fuck me up. Um, you can actually, in fact, spawn the Ender Dragon in your 1.1 world. It just requires going to 1.3. And this is real, by the way. There was, there's almost like no other way to actually do this. So yeah, this is real. You, you can spawn the Ender Dragon three times if you wanted. They also didn't fly away after attacking you, so you're fucked. But yep, this is real. This is real fucking Minecraft. No mods, no nothing. You can tell there's no mods. Uh, you know, you know why? Um, first of all, there's no Eyes of Ender. There is an Eye of Ender, and third, you know, boss health, you know. But yeah, this is a real glitch you can still do to this day. You just have to make a new folder so you can actually goddamn play the game. Um, this is also before you could even check your actual goddamn inventory. That's annoying. Um, yeah, how am I, uh, how am I gonna do this? They're, they're flying around a lot. Uh, yeah, this is... Oh, Jesus Christ. So I'm just gonna casually fight the Ender Dragon three goddamn times. I've actually never beaten Minecraft before. 
Oh yeah, remember this? Yeah, that was annoying. I'm just gonna... No, oh, shit. I think this was before control, actually. Ah! I think this was before... Hold on. Can you run with control? Oh yeah, this was before control let you run. You had the double tap space. Please get me the fuck out of here. I don't feel like fighting them. Get me in the water. Don't come near me. Oh, Jesus Christ. They're destroying the water. I can't just change it to peaceful to get rid of them. This was before Iron Golem, so I don't really have any defense. All I have is a shitty art. Are they sexing? Okay, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> okay, that's how you spawn the Ender Dragon with a spawn egg. This is actually not fucking clickbait. That's real. You can do that. In legit Minecraft. You just have... The steps are... You know, do, go over it. The steps are... Go to... Go to Minecraft 1.3.1. 1. Um... Use... Give... Your Minecraft name... And... This rune, these runes, hold on. You just give your Minecraft name these runes that uh, us old Minecraft gamers would understand. Then you go back to Minecraft 1.1 and have a blast. That is how you spawn the Ender Dragon in survival. I'm really happy I did not fall out of the world. Um, I have no multiplayer because I'm lonely. But yeah, that is how you spawn the Ender Dragon in survival. Survival? No. In Minecraft 1.1.